I'm gonna start off with two kind of shout outs. The first is for my friend Rachel on Twitter, Captain Rachel. She has a tendency to self-censor. Even though she is smart and thoughtful and concerned and compassionate and funny, she still has an urge to delete the things that she wants to put on the internet. So please follow her on Twitter and encourage her not to delete the things that she puts on the internet because she puts good stuff out there. And then my second shout out is for Hypermelly on YouTube. Melly wants to vlog about social issues, and maybe she will, maybe she won't, and there's no pressure to do it, but if she does, I want her to have lots of support. So she doesn't just put up one video about social issues, she feels like she can put up a million of them. One every day. And people will be excited to see it. So go over to her YouTube channel and subscribe. I'm gonna put both Rachel's and Melly's links in the doobly-doo below. I realize I don't usually do shoutouts in the cold open, but it's my channel, I can do what I want. Happy Saturday, Paul Talkers. So, that new Star Wars teaser trailer, huh? I was not expecting to be that into it. I'm excited because everything looks the way I remember looking from the original trilogy, not the prequels. And it's, it's getting pretty good. And then the John Williams theme comes up and Millennium Falcon flies in. Ah! I am, I'm in. I am all in. Let's go see it right now. I'll get in line today. I'm not that into Star Wars, actually, but this does look pretty good. I did write some for NaNoWriMo today, even though I just spent all day running errands and doing things. But I wrote 477 words. Still horrible, but it's still better than zero. Story-wise, our protagonist, Brayden, has told her new team member that rather than striking out in a violent confrontation, they should work together for transformative justice in a community where there's problems. It's like I'm not even making anything up. <laughs> For the rest of my vlog, I wanted to talk to you about the conflicting nature of consumerism versus survival and poverty, specifically around Black Friday through Cyber Monday, this, this consumeristic weekend that we have going on right now in the United States. And apparently, we've just branched into the UK. The UK has Black Friday now? Why does the UK have Black Friday? Whatever. And there's often been a backlash to the idea of Black Friday and people getting out there as early as Thanksgiving morning to do their shopping and then just shopping all weekend long and making retail workers work these long hours. There's been a backlash of rejecting Black Friday. This year in particular, there was the Stop the Parade movement to try to make people more aware of Ferguson and concerned about the racism problems in Ferguson than the consumerism of Black Friday. But even in years where there hasn't been a Ferguson in the news, there's still been this feeling that Black Friday is a bad thing, a thing that we should shut down and or avoid. And one of the reasons given for that is that Black Friday makes retail workers work on Thanksgiving holiday and then on Friday, the holiday right after it, in the United States, when they could be home with their families. But many retail workers who work for employers who don't suck, they actually make a decent chunk of money for working holiday hours. And I don't want to take away their business's ability to pay them good holiday hours money. Especially for people who are living hand to mouth, who are fairly poor, they need all the extra money they can get. Working on a Thanksgiving or a holiday can give them some extra money to make paying their rent and getting their food a little bit easier, particularly if they have extra mouths to feed. But on the other hand, there are really sucky businesses like Walmart, where they pay their employees so little, those employees have to go to the government for extra assistance. So in effect, Walmart makes the government pay through their taxpayer money their employees that they could just be paying more. <laughs> That's awful. I don't want to support that. You can't just take a, a single stand about the consumerism of this weekend. You need to take a more complex view about things. Don't be mean to the retail workers. They are working a relatively crappy job on the definitely crappiest day to do it. Be kind to them. And then the complex economic aspect of all of this also comes into play with the consumers. People who make less money than me and maybe less money than you and have whole families that they have to support, Maybe this is the only day of the year they could buy a computer for their child who is a student. Take that into consideration. Now, should one human being beat the crap out of another human being for a computer, even in these circumstances? Well, no, but it's not their fault. It's the fault of the big businesses that these hunger games happen on Black Fridays. It's not the fault of the people who are in there just trying to survive often. If the government cracked down on businesses that didn't pay their taxes, then they wouldn't have to get as many taxes from the rest of us. It's all interwoven. And I'm telling you all this not because I have a solution right now, although I think being aware of all these complexities is a part of the solution, 
Stop attacking the retail workers who have no choice. They need their money. They need to have a job. They need to pay for food and shelter. Stop attacking the people with lower income who literally can't buy some of the stuff they buy on Black Friday any other day of the year. But if you are privileged enough that you don't have to buy stuff on Black Friday and you can buy stuff throughout the rest of the year, then take this time not to harangue the others, but pay attention to things like the racist-based violence in Ferguson. Most of us are on the same side. We just want to have a safe, good life. And this weekend is no exception, and we have to remember that. And too many of us tend to believe the news hype that tries to convince us that the people who are out shopping are animals fighting each other, even though, you know, those corporations who own the news stations are kind of the ones responsible for that. Yeah, The Hunger Games isn't a made-up thing. The Hunger Games is what's happening right now. I don't know why people read books about it. Just look around. Anyway, that was my very nebulous rant about this consumeristic weekend. If you like this video, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Leave me your comments, questions, and suggestions about this Black Friday through Cyber Monday weekend. What do you think? Isn't this complex? And remember, Letters to Santa are coming in December. As always, thanks for watching, and tomorrow will be even better.